Hey everyone, it's Ometer, and welcome again to another episode of Shop Your Stash Saturday. This is a collab that I was asked to do by the amazing and great Sabrina Ann here on YouTube. As some of you may know her as the Sabs, where we look for stuff in our craft rooms and we basically use it. Especially, my goal is to use stuff that I've never used, and I'm going to use something I've never used. Um, and it's every Saturday, um, uh, we have offset day so one Saturday she posts something and then another Saturday I post something so today is my day and what I'm going to use today are two stamps and a paper pad a six by six paper pad you can use any paper pad um, that I haven't used and my misty that I basically haven't used in such a long time but here are the sets now this set I forgot where I got when I ordered it I don't even remember I really don't I've never used it um, and this is love notes by crepe paper and it has this cute library card, a lot of sentiments, heart, little um, cassette tape, arrows. Uh, super, super cute. Here's a little sample. And that is from the Love Notes collection. And I'm also going to use this clear stamp from um, from Prima. This is from the Princess collection. This is a really tiny stamps. And this one is, um, it just says this book belongs to. So what I'm making today are book plate slash... Um, library cards slash bookmarks um and i'm going to go ahead and use and they're going to be you can use any size paper that you want but i wanted to use up some of this um, maggie holmes open book um paper pad and i can't recall if somebody gifted that to me um so what we're going to make is these little library pockets now these are these these papers i actually use from here but the measurements you can use with whatever one you want now here is a little library card where the information can go for the person's book and now here's the thing i don't read books i don't have time i have too much to do um i read magazines and most of the time i just look at the pictures but nathan reads a lot um sabrina has kids so i figured she can use this for her kids books um they love story times so um this way they can use this for their books if somebody borrows it or whatever but they can put their little name right here and this pattern is a little busy and you can't see this very well but it's still there um and this will be taped into their book plate i plan to also make some for nathan i guess and then also then this can be used as a bookmark let's say this let's pretend see i don't even have a book here to pretend with um let's pretend this is your book and there's your bookmark so it's a multi-purpose little thing and a book plate. They could be treats, uh, little things to be given to um, someone's kid, someone's, um, so the person that reads. Like I said, Nathan reads a lot. He has ten, he reads and he's very well read. So um, I plan to make some of these for him as well. So let's get started with this. Now, um, we will go ahead and do the card, the, the library card first. I already have my Misty set up with my stamp here. And I have already picked out from May Home's open book. Um, I've picked out some very simple patterns for, except for that yellow one, for the card. So let's go ahead and let's just finish, let's continue with, um, I plan to make several with this one that was the one that I used for, um, for the card already. So we'll go ahead and place that here so we don't, you know, so we can actually use stuff and not waste it. I'm going to go ahead and just ink it. I have it all set up. Just, it just isn't cooperating with me. Okay. So I'm just going to ink it. Now, I tested this once or twice, and I will have to stamp it several times. Here's the reason why this stamp I'm using the Misty, and the other book plate stamp I'm not. Um, I'm still using the Misty base, because when I go to stamp it, it stamps and everything, but the letters are so small that I feel that it needed an extra little um, worth of stamping. So um, the first one, I go ahead and do it all over. The second one, I will do just the lines and mainly the, um, sorry for the glare, you guys, and mainly the, um, the letters and the center part. So that is my second one. Voila, I am totally satisfied. Let me just make sure. You know what? I want a little bit more on. I feel like the bottom, maybe. Just and th that's the only reason, like I said, why this one is on the misty. I wanted to make sure I have a very deep and dark stamp on this. Okay, so here it is. I can move this off to the side for right now. 
But here it is. Here is the card. I'm going to, because I'm, I call it laziness, I'm going to just go ahead and freehand cut it with a tiny little border. And truth be told, if you don't want to have that border, you don't have to. So of course, I'm trying to do this while not getting in the camera view. So I just have, and if you have a good, strong, good length scissors, you could do it in one fell swoop, and there you go. Super duper. So that's that. that that's the library card. We're going to go ahead and set that aside. And now I'm going to pick one of the busier patterns from the collection for the... Um, you know, let's go ahead and use I want one that you'll be able to see the, um, the book plate part. What's this one? Well, this is a little grid one. Why not? Let's go with this one. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and cut it at three inches. This is just the six by six paper pad. It has that little part on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and cut three inches. Okay. Now the base, here's the thing. I wanted to do the base in one part, but I did not like where in the Jesus did it that thing go. Um, I did not like the way it looked. So because the back side, because this paper is one sided. So because it's one sided, I didn't like the way it looked and I'm um I cut it apart and then I placed it on the top. So we were gonna we're gonna go ahead into these measurements. Now this is three um by six plus a little piece right there so we're going to cut this at two and a quarter two and a quarter and the remainder part will be three and three fourths which is basically if you started if you cut down your paper to um three by six that is where you would be now um we're not done with the cutting i'm going to go ahead and cut um, cut half an inch off so it'll go from three to three and three fourths it'll be um, going to cut it down to two and a half I'm going to cut it down a little bit under two and a half you'll see why so we have that now I'm going to go ahead and take my corner rounder and round off the corners I'm using a quarter inch rounder for the top so that is the top right there and now for the bottom part, so it actually shows up, we're going to go ahead and score it um, on both sides, a quarter inch and the bottom, basically. And of course, as per <laughs> recording stuff, it'll not work out. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and score it at a quarter. We're going to turn it. A quarter and a quarter of an inch and honestly you could also do it the quarter inch mark on this side so you scored it on the quarter a quarter and a quarter at the bottom I'm gonna flip it over so I can see my tick marks I mean my um, my uh, my score marks I'm going to hit and I just cut it with a little angle why I have no idea um, and you're gonna cut out the little squares right here because this is going to fold over Let's do this one. I'm going to fold this over. It's going to be a quarter of an inch. And because, and then this will become two inches wide. I mean, two and a half inches wide. Just like this right here. And the reason why we cut just a little bit off here was so it'll fit on the inside of this. So, I'm going to use some tacky glue. You can use um, ATG, but since it's a quarter of an inch, I'm not going to see if it's like literally super, super snug. And I should have cut it down a little bit more. So I'm going to do that and see it's already inset in there. And we're going to put some glue. You can use, um, Score tape, you can use anything. I literally just have this on the side over here. One side, other side, and then the third side. 
and you are almost done. So, and here is the little pocket. Here is your card. Perfect little pocket for this. It's made from six by six section piece of paper. So, now that is the little pocket and um and the card we are now going to move this out of the way and i'm just going to use the base of my here i don't want this to have oops today a, a lot of a glare okay so now i'm just going to use the honestly i probably could do do it but you know what we're just going to do it quickly here is the stamp with oh, wrong side the stamp with the booklet i have already placed it on an acrylic block and this has the misty has a foam base inside that you can remove if you're using um foam mounted stamps but these are rubber stamp i mean um acrylic stamps so i'm just going to use that now i am going to measure where the because as you can see, I have my stamp inside about a quarter of an inch. I'm just going to measure that along the top of the pocket and the sides. I'm just going to press it down, press it for a bit. Now, obviously, this is going to run off of the pocket, but that is what's going to give it its cute, cute look. It's going to look like it's just coming right off. And I'm just holding it down to make sure it, um, it does make the impression. And here we go. And ta -dee, ta -dee. totally totally done I think I just um, scraped this right here um, here's a here this book belongs to you can put the person's name um, I try I'm gonna try not to use too busy of patterns but I wanted to show you right there so like totally cool <laughs> I've never used this stamp um, I bought this stamp specifically to make book plates and stuff like that for stickered back book plates for like Nathan's niece and nephews and my niece and nephews they like to read um, but this is two in one it's a little book plate and like I said it's a bookmark but if the person lets somebody borrow it there you go you just put the information and who is borrowing it and when and there you go so here are two you can actually get, um, I just chose a different color so you guys can see. You can get from one six by six sheet, you can get two of the little pockets and from one of the, um, uh, one of the six by six sheets, you can get several of, you can get two, three, depending on how you position of the cards. Like, um, and if you wanted to continue, like you can actually st stamp this on this one and then use this as the card so they all don't look the same. But this way, you have something to start out with. And just use the lighter patterns to, like I will make more out of these lighter patterns that you can see, except for this one, <laughs> that you can see the lettering of the card. Um, because, uh, who, because I'm pretty sure whoever puts their name on here will um, put it with a marker or with a pen and this out of the way so yeah so that is my shop your stash saturday yeah, i hope you like it sabrina i hope you like these like i said i will go ahead and make several i will have several because i do want to make sure that i have enough to give a little set to each one of her kids because they do love reading um and also i want to make a separate set for nathan i also plan on using this collection this is the selavi now, I wanted, the reason why I wanted to use a uh, pattern paper was because I wanted to put embellishments on this. You can put embellishments on this and then use them as embellishments for a card or whatnot, scrapbook layout. But I wanted to use these just for book plates so that way they stay flat and in the book and they don't become too bulky if it's a smaller book. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I hope this tutorial was... Um, was useful like i said if you have this if i i know i can't I don't even have it because i don't know where i put it if you have this love note stamp from crate paper perfect way this is all sized and like i and as you saw i just hand cut the um i just eyeballed the little card even if you cut it with um a paper trimmer and you cut it with more space you still have about a quarter inch in here of flexibility so but yeah 
that is using this little um, stamp and this one. So let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys soon. Stay tuned next week of four Sabrinas, and also we have another surprise coming up too because we're like just talking crazy about something. All right, so thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.